Imagine one of the top global producers of cars and trucks in early 2020. COVID-19 swept across the world. Many suppliers were located in regions that were heavily impacted by the pandemic, such as China and Europe, and this led to the production delays and shortages of critical components. GM had to curb production at two of its key assembly plants. So did many other leading automotive manufacturers. This could happen again anytime soon to any global brand due to the number of reasons, pandemic, border closures, or geopolitical conflicts. Recent years showed us the vulnerability of the global supply chains, so many countries realized that they need to build domestic supply chains for the critical industries such as energy and transportation. EV batteries are a very important part of the future energy market for a number of reasons. First of all, the adoption of EVs can help reduce a country's dependence on imported oil and increase energy security. Secondly, EVs produce fewer emissions and help us to reduce air pollution and address climate change. Finally, the industry creates opportunities for the new jobs in related fields and helps increase economic growth. So regulation is one of the tools that can help bring batteries and EV manufacturing to the country's borders and ensure the movements towards clean energy and overall energy independence. This is why we see increased interest from governments to the battery supply chain regulations. The regulation of electrical vehicles' batteries evolved over time. Firstly, they were just putting batteries and electrical vehicles in the legal field and were aimed at making the new industry safer. For example, the United Nations Regulation No. 100, introduced back in, in 1996, addressed safety requirements specific to the electric powertrain of road vehicles, including rechargeable battery systems. Then certain countries, for example China, started to put their ambitious goals in the new electrical vehicle area on documents. So the Chinese electrical vehicle industry development plan until 2020 appeared. It set targets for the development of China's electrical vehicle industry and also included regulation addressing battery safety and recycling. As the industry develops very fast, new regulations are coming into force and they are becoming more complex as they correlate with many other industries. For example, countries' energy policies, environmental goals, and ESG standards. They cover a wide range of factors, including safety, performance, environmental impact, and end of life of batteries. Some of the new regulations put requirements not only for EV manufacturers and battery manufacturers, but also for the critical mineral producers, processing companies, and recyclers. So all companies involved in the battery supply chain will be affected. Why are the battery regulations important? It is obvious that countries have started to compete in the field of the green energy. The future success will highly depend on strategy and new established frameworks and incentives. Companies, including EV brands and battery manufacturers, can benefit from those. The great example of that is the Inflation Reduction Act introduced by Biden's administration. Car manufacturers and battery producers consider relocating their future facilities in the U.S. as the IRA made it very attractive with the demand side incentives. The worldwide battery industry is subject to various regulations that aim to promote sustainability, environmental protection, and circular economy. The EU battery regulation is an important piece of legislation that defines legislative framework for the industry for the future years. The regulation aims to ensure that batteries can be reused, repurposed, and recycled efficiently at the end of their life. There is a number of very important requirements, such as mandatory due diligence requirements, minimum recycled content in a battery, and battery passport. In the US, Biden's administration introduced the Inflation Reduction Act, and this document aims to incentivize domestic EV production by providing demand-side incentives. China issued a number of important regulations focused on battery recycling. For example, the new electrical vehicle battery recycling mandate that requires manufacturers to set up and standardize recycling plants for the electrical vehicle batteries. Follow our updates here on YouTube and learn more about the regulation of the EV batteries. Soon we will cover the EU battery regulation and the Inflation Reduction Act in detail. What changes will all this regulation bring to companies involved in the battery regulation process? A crucial and imperative trend is building transparent EV battery supply chain. To make it possible, upstream and downstream companies will be required to set up a common information system and implement technologies to ensure that they can safely exchange key data about battery. 
This will be all about transparency, and transparency can be achieved by implementing technologies such as blockchain, IoT sensors, and artificial intelligence that enable the monitoring and tracking of the battery entire life cycle. Our explainer videos are designed specifically for you to understand what changes you can make today to be fully compliant and ready for the future. Check out our next episodes and learn more about regulation, requirements, and technologies that will help you to stay on top of things.